In this video, we're going to learn one more convergence test called the root test, and it applies to a very specific class of series. The statement of the test is that I begin with some generic series, AN, and what I look at is the limit of the nth roots of AN. So as n gets large for n equal to 1, this is just going to be an, or the absolute value of an, then it's going to be the square root of an, the cube root of an, the fourth root of an, and so on. And then we get a claim that the structure of which is very similar to the ratio test. If this particular funky limit that I'm investigating is less than 1, then it's absolutely convergent. If it's greater than 1 or diverges to infinity, then it's going to be divergent. And again, if it's equal to 1, then the root test is inconclusive and is unhelpful. So what kind of series is this going to apply to? We're taking nth roots of things. Usually taking an nth root of something, because n's changing in your limit, right, is a bit of a weird thing to do, unless the a n has exponents of the power of n already built into it. So that is the category of series where this is useful. Series that have blah to the power of n and then this root test lets you get rid of the to the power of n. So here I have an example, and I've kind of disguised it because I haven't given you exactly what the a n is. I just wrote out the first few terms. And so we have to determine from the pattern of the first few terms what it is that our a n actually is going to be. So let's do that before we even think about applying any test. I'm going to claim that my a n, well, I think the first thing I notice is that I have a series of powers here. This is like 1 over the natural log to the power of 1, and then squared, and then cubed, into the 4th, into the 5th, and so on. So this is like something to the power of n. And then what do I have on the inside? Well, it's 1 over the natural log of something for sure. Well, if n is 1 here, it goes 2, 4, 6, 8. It's always twice the value of n. So this is the natural log of 2 times n. So that's what our sequence is, and then what our series appears to be is the sum from 1 up to infinity of precisely that a n, so 1 divided by the natural log of 2 n, all to the power of n. Okay, so now I've got my uh, series, and I note that because it has this blah to the power of n, it's very well situated to apply the root test. So going back to the statement of the root test, what we're needing to investigate is this limit of the nth root of the absolute value of n. All right, so the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a n. I don't have to worry about the absolute values at all. Every one of these terms is positive. In fact, we can almost immediately remove conditionally convergent as a possibility because since it's already all the positive values, the absolute value doesn't change anything. If it converges, it for sure converges absolutely. Nonetheless, if I write this out, well, limit as n goes to infinity, I can copy and paste that. This is the nth root of 1 divided by the natural log of 2 to the n, all to the power of n. And note that the nth root and to the power of n cancel nth roots are like to the power of 1 over n, so 1 over n times n is just going to be equal to 1, and so what do I get? The limit as n goes to infinity of 1 divided by the natural log of 2 to the n, and this thing is going to be going to 0. Natural log blows up to infinity, and this is going to be equal to 0. This is a value less than 1, and so absolutely convergent by the root test.